Okay, so I'm going to start the video off. I always like to show you the hair for the day. It's just the hair with the headband wrapped around it, and that's it. Okay, so let me start right away with telling you what they say and my interpretation. They said, we want credit, meaning they want credit for my work. That's my point. If I wasn't successful for 49 years, I consider even now this is successful because had I not been successful right now, they really would have done far worse to not just my family, but to me. So they said, we would never let this happen to our families. You already did. You already did. You, or you, the people doing this, these people already embarrassed themselves, their families, and all the things that their families put into them. They already hurt their families. So they're saying, so I'm going to interpret what they're trying to tell me as manipulative people. I already told you my response to them. So we want credit. They said they want to track everything I've ever done and figure out who taught it to me so they can get credit. So pretty much they want credit for my work. And what I interpret that to mean is that no one would believe you accomplished this without us. So we can swoop in right now and take credit and we can write about you in books and we can talk about you like we know you and we can pretend we live with you. They never lived with me. I would never let these people live with me. And we can pretend you live with us. I never live with these people. They can't even lie and say that I did. And we can pretend that it wasn't my work. It was their work. But that's my point. That seems to be what a lot of other people going through this explain to me that they believe in some sort of slavery, that I'm the person who's supposed to do the work while they sit back and take credit as though I don't deserve to get paid for my work, credit for my work. I don't deserve to be able to get the the rewards for work. That's what I'm saying, because they said that that's something else abuses that they said, this is reward and punishment. Meaning the reward for my work doesn't come to me. It goes to them. If I don't let them take credit, I will be punished. So they said they hit me here on the head and then they hit me close to here on the head. So we have a big thing going on. What's considered the top of my head? I'll ask you guys, what's considered the top of my head? So I say the top of your head is where is the flat part. At least my head has a flat part. They would say this here is not the top of my head. It's the top back of my head. I've never heard of a top back of heads, <laughs> but that's how they twist and distort things. So when you're dealing with these types of people, that's what they do. They'll twist and distort things. So they try to say, I would find evidence for what I say. Well, if I'm finding evidence for what I say, I couldn't be twisting and distorting it because I found evidence for what I'm saying. Twisting and distorting something means there's no evidence, but these types of manipulative people can twist and distort what you say to make it seem like there's evidence. So they wanted to doctor videos. They wanted to, to voice clone, you know, things that you've already heard about. I'm not the first to talk about this. So they wanted to use voice cloning to make it seem like I said something. They said they put the talking in my apartment to make it seem like the nasty things they were saying came from me. So they're twisting and distorting things. Whereas I'm presenting things, a presentation, and they, they're really obsessed with the idea that in school we, we were given presentations because it means that we learned how to speak to people. We learned how to debate. We learned, you know, it wasn't something that not only did I learn that outside of school, but we learned how to do it in an environment where you had to do it. And they're obsessed with that because that means that their little twists of things won't get to me. So when they say they want credit, they can't get credit. The other part about that is when they say, how do you let, meaning how did you let this happen? No, victims of crime do not let it happen. And that 
thought process is making it seem like, well, I let myself become a victim of a crime. I let them know. Then what they're saying is that if they're claiming that I let this happen to me, then every crime victim would be accused of letting it happen. That's completely the wrong way of looking at being a victim of anything, but most of all a crime. So when they hit me in the head, I still call this the top. I guess my head is like this. So this is the top. This would be the back of my head. And this would be, if you if there's a such thing as an upper back of head, I wouldn't say there's a t- thing as an upper back of head, but if there is, maybe it's here. But when you feel a pain here and here and here, that would be the top of your head. And why is it important that it's the top of your head? Because when you're sitting, think of it, think of it coming down like this. It can't really come down like upper back. So when you're sitting, it's like this. When you're standing and walking around at the windows, it would be towards the back. And if they try to say upper back, then if when you're on your side laying down or if you're passing a window, then that could be in their mind upper back. But The reason it's important that it's the top of the head is that's how it's coming down on you. So they used to say something about under pressure. I won't get into that in this video, but that was the thought that I would be so under pressure that I would be unable to control my response. That's how bad this is. So what I want to just do, I always like to give you guys a bonus. I just want to quickly review what we talked about and then give you a bonus. The first thing is they want credit. They feel like we, they don't do the work. We have to do the work and give them something. Hey, that to me is a crime right there. The second part of that thing, and they said, oh, all these things are like gang gestures. Do I look like I'm in a gang? Do I, do I look like I'm in a gang? No. The second part of that is if they're saying I'm allowing them to do this, I'm letting them, then what does that mean for what they've done to their families and to their friends who they roped into this? They wanted to use this. They said they have different emotions. So here's my bonus. It's preying on my emotions, but other victims' emotions, guilt, shame, anger, sadness. That's how they try to convince you to commit suicide. Rage, how they want you to act out and commit violent acts. Um, What is the other thing? Uh, Sexual behavior. That's why they want, you know, they want to try to make me act out sexually. That's why they stimulate the sexual areas. Um, And you guys can think of the other things. And like I said, feel free to leave a comment, talk about them um, and and, uh, tell me some things that you've noticed about them, how you interpret these things. But it's about the emotions. If they can find ways to stimulate areas of your body and head and get those emotions at the right time, unfortunately, sometimes people will act on those emotions. That's how I know this is something that these people are doing to people. And I'm asking you folks, please don't act out violently. Please continue to expose this. And I hope, I'm really hoping you folks can get through this because I feel just based on the comments, based on the research I've been doing, I feel like we are accomplishing something. It doesn't feel like that, but I feel like we are accomplishing something.
And as long as that accomplishment happens a bit at a time, we will eventually win. Thank you for watching.